Camera action lights. Okay. I'll tell you what. I was listening to a video and it's really an eye opener because they it's very educational. I caught on to something. Uh they they can stimulate time, okay? And they can mess with time. If they can stimulate time, like she said, they can rewrite the past, they can rewrite the present, and they can rewrite the future. It's just like these lights. You see these lights? Electricity travels through these lights to make them turn on and off. Otherwise, they don't work. The cords going up to them, the wires going up to them, is what the electricity travels through. Anybody can make them turn on or off with just a push of the button. But if they're unplugged from the electric, there's no electricity going through the wire. It's not traveling through the wire. You can't turn them on. You can't turn them off. If they're unplugged. They have to be plugged in in order to turn on and off. Otherwise, they don't work. The light has to travel through the electric, through the wire. Electricity has to travel through the wire in order for the light to come on. That's how you work with light. You can bend light, you can do anything you want to with light to reconstruct time to what it needs to be. And that's what they've done. They've reconstructed time. They went back in history, rewrote history, because we had a nuclear war with that island that France is in control of. We lost France. So actually they had a nuclear war with us and we didn't know it. Those were nuclear bombs set off in California that caused the California fire and they don't want you to know it. And there was also an underwater nuclear bomb in the ocean that caused the radiation sickness in California. That's why they burned up part of California. And then also there was radiation foam coming in to Michigan from the ocean. That was from an underwater nuclear bomb. They don't want people knowing this. They don't want anybody knowing what I'm telling you. But I'm telling you because I learned it. All I did was Google. And I came up with my answers. I encourage you to Google all of what I'm saying. To check and make sure that it's true. Because I don't lie. Radioactive foam is what it was called, coming off the water from the underwater nuclear bomb. We had a nuclear war. Cities were hit. People didn't know it. It was during 2014, the year that's missing. They reassimilated time. And they reassimilated everything to rewrite time, change the past, change the future. That's how the Mandela Effect was created. They did not put everything back like they were supposed to. And they busted down the portal, the door to the portal, while they were at it, which was the door to the demon dimension and the spirit dimension. That's why you have spirits and demons roaming around, and you don't even know it. They're underfoot. Honey. They're everywhere. They're all around us in this world. Not kidding. That's the part of the realm that people cannot see. Some people can see it. Some people can't. The more sensitive ones can see it. It is going on, yes. You feel like you've been hit by a demon, honey? Yeah, you have. Fact is, they're here. They're everywhere. Because they left the portal door busted open. Now, Christ has to come back and do a war to end all wars to fix that door. It even talks about it in Revelation. It's what it means when 
It said that Christ would shut the door. It wasn't talking about what door he would shut. It wasn't talking about the pit, so you are. It was talking about the portal door. When it said he would come back and shut the door. I'm not reconstructing scriptures. I'm telling you what they mean. In my translation of them. And I may be wrong. I may, com I may be completely wrong. I may be surprised and God might say, well, you got this wrong. You got that wrong. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. Every prophet makes mistakes. Nobody is really totally accurate. And that's what you have to remember. Read the scripture. Read the Bible. Open it and read it. Literally. Figure it out. It's right at your fingertips. And you can get so much more out of it than you can the computer. Because, honey, Bible's a lot easier to understand than the computer. And where do we spend most of our time? Think about it. Take care and God bless. Bye now.